Hello and welcome to... Good morning, everybody. Good morning, darling. Hello, sweetie. What we thought we'd do today is take you through one of our days. Uh, this is actually quite special because we're home together on a day. Which is pretty rare. <laughs> and it's a Saturday, so we're going to go through a few things to do with the minimalization, and we're going to show you what we eat today as well in a uh, minimalistic, older person, vegan lifestyle. <laughs> so the first thing we do when we get up, and we're normally getting up at different times, is we make a celery juice. And what that does, it actually fixes your gut health. So instead of going to the probiotics, that was the my kefirs, fault. Yeah, the kefirs and, and the special foods, all that sort of stuff. If you have a glass of celery juice every morning, your gut health will fix itself and then your health will vastly improve. So let's get making that celery juice. Done. And try and get my stomach working properly, and that's a big one. If you don't like the taste, just drink it fast. <laughs> just like that. Bloody beautiful. You feel like coffee? Yeah, okay, so we can make our coffee now if you like. Did you did you see that on the video? I'll see if we can see that in the, the sour look on it. <laughs> well, we <laughs> I, just, I just looked at it and the face has gone. <laughs> you get used to it. Like when I was working in the 70s in Melbourne, I used to walk past this cafe and they started having juices. So I would actually buy a cucumber juice, just straight cucumber. And I used to have that every morning. And then after a while, I sort of got used to it and I sort of craved this cucumber juice and I really liked it. Yeah, I have to admit, when we first started on the whole celery thing, it wasn't. I mean, yeah, it's okay. The, the, the bitter part comes from when you put a lot of the leaf in. Yeah. The leaves what gives it a bit of taste, but you need a combination of all of it. But, yeah. yeah, you need the leaves and the stems, <laughs> but the leaves will give you the more nutrient-dense stuff yeah. that you yeah. need. But anyway, okay, coffee so time. Let's make the coffee. <laughs> okay, so Dave is the coffee maker in our family. Hello. <laughs> now, just try, I, I wanted to make my coffee. I bought this the other day at the health shop. It's a medicinal mushroom coffee, and it does say it is 100% legal, which is good. So it's got cordyceps in there, and it's got reishi mushroom, which are very, very good for your health, and of course some organic coffee. And it is quite expensive, but I'm doing a 10-day trial of this, and it, it really tastes nice, and it gives you a lot of energy, which is really good. So if that's what you can make for me, my dear. Fast pot, and my darling always buys, you know, selections just to make the liberin life harder. As you know, all liberins like making decisions. But I'm going to go with the purpley one this time. Try something different. The pots. Um, so you just have that, are you? Yeah, you just, it's just like instant coffee. You just put a teaspoon in coffee. And today, I thought we might um, do something with the kayaks that's a big thing that we've got. We've both got two big sea kayaks um, and we've got all the accessories. Yeah. yeah, so we might take them out of the garage, put them on the lawn, take some photos and then we can put them on eBay or something like that. It's just that they need to be picked up locally. I don't think we can freight two <laughs> big sea kayaks. But it, Mine's they, 15 and a half foot long, hers is 14 yeah, and a half so, foot long. Yeah, so there might, there might be someone out there that really wants these things. I mean, we love them to death. Um, we don't go that much kayaking and there's not much scope here to do that. Um, and there is crocodiles up here in Mackay. 
So we thought maybe, you know, because we like kayaking, that when we're traveling around the world, we can actually hire them. And normally when you go on a tour, a kayak tour, and that, they have their own kayaks anyway. So instead of dragging them around the world with us or dragging them around Australia, we'll, we'll just sell them. And um, that could get us enough money to do some repairs on the house. So then ultimately we could sell and the then, house. And and then then it's very it. hard to be a minimalist when you've got great big kayaks. So <laughs> fact to be fact, all the stuff's going as much as we can get rid of. Unless um, you can live in the kayak. Oh, hang on, can we live in them? That's minimalist. We could just keep the kayak and put our bags and clothing in the kayaks and then just paddle away. Yeah, paddle around the world. Hey, hey! Stop and paddle with us, yes. Hang on, let's think about that one. <laughs> Does that sound a bit over the top, maybe? I'm only 60. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Here's to a good Saturday. Hell yeah. <laughs> Actually, this is quite an interesting book. I'm nearly nearly through it. Um, it's another another interesting way of looking at things like that. Yeah, so we go through some really weird books. <laughs> and of course, um, YouTube channels, don't we? <laughs> well, yeah, because I'm doing a um, metaphysical science degree, so I read all sorts of strange things and all different metaphysical ideas and stuff like that. So this one here is uh, Theosophy of the Rosicrucians. So interesting outlook on the birth of the planet and all that sort of stuff. So. Mm -hmm. And the, I like this, Anne got me this the other day. It's a, um, a vegan leather, I like that, vegan leather. Hmm. It's <laughs> <laughs> vegan leather. Uh, vegan bookmark. leather bookmark. Um, so if I ever have to replace my old belt that I've had for years, which is leather, um, I'll replace it with leather. I'm a dog lover, so I choose a vegan leather. <laughs> Because you can probably make leather from a dog too, or is it just cows and things that you make leather from? Mostly cows, I think. You can use different stuff. Deer, I think, is another one. So we're going to do the shrimp. kayak thing, so yeah. we'll have to get them out of the garage. I think we're going to have to do it on the front lawn, because yeah. I don't particularly want to get the lawnmower out at the minute. Well, the back lawn looks pretty Machete the back, <laughs> <laughs> the back lawn. Um, yeah. And then we've got to get this stuff out. Um, the, the All accessories. the accessories and stuff yeah, like that. Buy them out and, and film them. Possibly we could go on. Do you want to do it like you can buy them individually and then cheaper if you buy the pair? Or? No, I think it should be a package and see how we go. If we don't get anybody wanting the package, we, if we get like, they'll inquire if they can buy one, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but we can make it so that they want the two because, you know, it's a bargain. Because yeah. they're practically new so and they're beautifully looking. Mm -hmm. And I think. I can also put a little video on YouTube where we're actually in them. Oh yeah? Not yeah. in YouTube, sorry, in eBay. Because I think you can put a, a little video on there. Okay. So I'll put a little video of us uh, paddling the... And waving? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like an outro where you wave at the camera. Yeah. But it's going to be sad to see them go down. It really yeah. is. Yeah. What and and somebody got seasick on a kayak. <laughs> It's a bit like Amy on King in it, you know, she, she's a traveller and gets travel sick. Uh, so. I, get, I get seasick. Yeah, but our, our focus behind the kayaks years ago was I sort of did gym for about five years and I did it every day non-stop and had the six pack, all that sort of stuff. But we thought as we're growing older and maturing, you know, do we really want to go to the gym every day? And even though we're doing a little bit more of that now, we wanted to get fit and healthy, mm. not only through eating, but by doing little adventures. Yeah, lifestyle, that, yeah, yeah. so we got the mountain bikes and we got the kayaks, and we thought instead of going to the gym, we'd go out and roll the kayaks. Or sort of, yeah, the, 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 the funny yeah. part was in, in Brisbane, it all went. We, we used to go to. Um, oh, Some of think. the creeks, Oxley Creek. And yeah, we used yeah. to ride to uh, your mum's place, you know, oh, and nice. that was a 20k yeah. round trip. and. We used to go over there for breakfast on Sunday, yes. uh, mountain bike In trail. Brisbane they have, they have trails uh, all over the place. And then but the kayaking, because we had a hell of a lot of creeks. Yeah, we had Oxy we did, Creek and all We that. had Oxy Creek and all that, we did, we did a lot out there. But you know, there's nothing, even, even though we're in a, a country town and we need the ocean, yeah. 
there's no old bike pass or anything. You just got to mm. go on the main streets and. And, and the, whole the fact of my weird shifts. Yeah, true. And then. Whenever we had weekends, there were certain things we had to get done on those certain weekends yeah, together. Yeah, do the laundry, do, you know, do the housework. <laughs> well, no, well, yeah, that. But I'm talking about when we had the weekends together. There was yeah. certain things we could, we had to get done, and we've done that for six years. You know yeah. what I mean? And, oh, and we did six years of renovating too. Well, that was in Brizzy, but what I'm saying is, in Brisbane, we were together. Yes. We actually worked together for six years. Yes. Um, but up here, it's been fragmented. Yeah. Ever because since of, being because of your ships, yeah, um, and it's kind of destroyed our oh, I like this. adventure stuff. You know, yeah. like we we just recently bought all that tent gear after the Melbourne. Yeah, we were going to do the trek, the, you know, the, um, light hiking. Yeah, and there's a couple of videos we've got on the channel where yeah. we do the light backpacking. And then, then, and then this your has late, happened, and now it's issues. just screwed yeah. everything. And it's it's nearly coming up to nearly twelve months. Yeah, you know, and. It's really ruined everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's made life but, very But with the adventure stuff too, like I said before, with being minimalistic, we can hire stuff. We don't have to have a house full of stuff in case we go kayaking. Oh, yeah. Or in case we go mount. Well, we will have a bike. That's probably yeah. the one thing we will have in Chiang Mai, yeah. a bike. So I'd like to uh, use the bike to go Yeah, because we, we don't want to really use vehicles and stuff like that we can get away with it yeah we're not uh, buying we wanna, vehicles we're not buying motorbikes we either want to walk or hobble um <laughs> or hire something <laughs> or or we're looking at going to buy some nice bikes over there we haven't made up our minds yet on um all-purpose mountain type bike terrain all terrain bike or, or bike. a stop uh, just a standard road bike yeah. it seems to be a a um uh, thing over there, it's more road bikes, but yeah. that might be just that little culture that we've seen. Maybe, that we've well, seen. I, I think though that we would use the bike a lot, so it'd be worth getting a good bike yeah. because that's that's the sort of lifestyle we want. Yeah. We want the food and we want the exercise, and we get a bike. But everything else, like if if you don't buy a car and you don't buy a motorbike or stuff, that's somebody else's problem, you know? The yeah. registration, oh, yeah. the maintenance and all, all the know, stuff looking, that goes with owning things is somebody else's problem. looking forward to this, this not having so many bills and stuff, you know? Yeah. Just, the, just to live in the house alone costs us an absolute fortune a month just to yeah. keep the damn thing over our head where same as our car, insurance, yeah. and fuel. And it's funny, and you free yourself, you free yourself and your lifestyle is a lot cheaper you don't yeah. have to spend yeah. a fortune and we thought didn't we we thought that all the places we wanted to visit we couldn't go because we couldn't afford a holiday each year yeah. to go to see the pyramids or to go to this and or go to do that yeah. and by watching all the youtube videos and finding out about the digital nomads and people living cheaply in these other countries sort of all these light bulbs went on in our head and we're thinking wow it's true. We, we were maybe so we concerned. can do that yeah we're so concerned with Maybe there's a way out. money to do these trips and stuff like that, and then this whole thing has just opened up to us, and and by just physically moving ourselves from an expensive Western society to a uh, cheaper way of living, and a good way of living. It's, it's like you know, every we, day we, is a different adventure. We haven't it? found really anything that's a bad about the place. You know what I mean? Like it, it's, everything that we've looked into has all been. Friendly, loving yeah. people. Um, they're so um, tourist friendly. They're probably the one yeah. of the most tourist friendly yeah. countries in Asia. But we, apart from Bali, Bali, Bali and Thailand are very close together, yeah. as in that way. But we are going to make a base there and then travel from there, aren't we? Yeah, Rather so than trying to make a base here in Australia and travel out of Australia, yes. which is too expensive. Yeah. So yeah, well, instead of what we originally idea was like the whole minimalist thing, where we just have a backpack and off we go and stuff like that, which I don't really want to do that. Um, Anne would go and <laughs> live out of a backpack, but I she would, does. I live like in a tree, you know. I'm fine. I don't care. And the reason why I don't want to do it is because I have a part of my life that I want to continue, and that's, that's my music. music. Yeah. yeah. And if I go down that avenue, I'm going to have to sell everything of mine that's musical. That's my beautiful flutes, my didgeridoos, my, all of my bass guitars, guitars, keyboards. And, and your everything. musical software and all that sort of stuff that you use. You know, and at, at least in this I can go along and take my didges with me, uh, take my flutes because I'm going to get a 
a, a big hard case. Uh, I am a hard case, but yeah. I'm going to <laughs> get, a, get a hard case and I'm going to put all my musical gear yeah. in it that I'm going to keep. So I'm just going to keep like the interfaces and uh, my, my studio speakers, which we can just use as our household speakers. Mm. And I'm going to get my native instrument uh, um, drum machine coordinating system, the, the yeah. Machina 2, and then I'm going to get a piano which is the yeah. same native instrument, so and that's basically yeah. that's basically what I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay hang tuned. On to. We could be the digital nomad channel where it tells you how to take music on the road <laughs> because we can't find any. So we might start and give you information on how to be a music producer, maybe yeah. as a digital nomad. <laughs> You just buy a cheaper, not buy a cheaper apartment, you rent a cheap apartment and keep your stuff there while you travel yeah, to other yeah. places. So uh, the whole thing is that we can go from, and we're not talking electricity and rates and all the other gamble of stuff that comes with this house. We're going from nearly $2,000 a month to keep this place to $500 over there. Mm -hmm. So, and our income always comes from our travels uh, from yeah. elsewhere it's not we're not we're not getting a Thai income which yes. then will bring you down to us like the here it's two thousand dollars over there it's the same you wear your wage is always similar but we won't because our money will be coming from Western yeah or from the digital so we'll be yeah. we'll be getting an income at the same rate we're here so you understand what I'm yeah. saying and then yeah. we can then just lock our unit up throw our backpacks on we're gone yeah um, and that's what we're going to be doing. That's what we're. I mean, to go and get ourselves. It's it's true. Anne and I. If I didn't have my music side of it, Anne and I could just pack up and go. Yeah, just. And that'd be it. When when Anne and I travel, we just not interested in coming home. Yeah. So it's just not Anne. We no, just. I, I don't get homesick. We don't get homesick. Right. Boo hoo, boo hoo. Don't care. Um, so when Anne and I are together, we don't give a rats. We've gone. Well, usually nine times out of ten, when the time we're coming home, especially if we're doing a road trip, we'll come up with any excuse not, not to come home. Not to come home, we'll stop the coffee. <laughs> anyway, Dal, you know, speaking of which, we really need to get on with today. So let's finish up this coffee and get those kayaks. Maybe we'll do the kayaks first, eh? Mm -hmm.